everyone sitting here in the room in Toronto in a beautiful place. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone who is listening us around the world next to their computers, because today the Companion Animal Nutrition Summit is translated around the globe. We learned something during the pandemic time that it's not necessary to be just present in the room. You can learn being even far from the meeting place. But I'm so, so happy to have you here in person and have an interaction and fantastic discussion. My name is Natalia Wagemans. I am leading the Purina Institute. And um, probably we never met before. With some of you, we had interactions during the virtual meetings. And I'm looking forward for the next two days that we will know each other better that we will raise healthy discussions about importance of nutrition in pets' life. And before we start the program, I would like to say a couple of words about the Purina Institute. Um, what is the Purina Institute? Purina Institute is a global professional organization that talks about the nutrition and put nutrition at the forefront of pet-related agenda. We are talking about Purina's research, but not only. We are talking about latest science that nutrition world brings in, um, in discussion with healthcare professionals. What is very important that Purina Institute never discuss any commercial products, because at the end of the day, the decision about the nutrition solution is stays with you with healthcare professionals, with veterinarians, and members of a healthcare team. What we discuss with you, and we love to continue to do that, it's talking about the scientific evidence about nutrition and power of nutrition and how it can change a pet's life. The Purina Institute is facilitating a collaboration with healthcare professionals and knowledge exchange through the different ways we are doing that. First of all, we are connecting the most innovative minds in the world that are belonging to different places of academy, university, schools, associations, practice. Because this is very important to bring these people together and talk about the trending uh, directions in pet nutrition. We are partnering with the global thought leaders and you are the thought leaders. You are who are sitting around the world e e teaching students in different uh, medical schools, in different associations, trying to put together guidelines and regulations that helps us to leverage and put up the nutrition agenda for the health of our pets. We are sharing groundbreaking research and this is very important because starting from you, from the experts in pet nutrition, we can disseminate this knowledge further to the different level of healthcare professionals at the end of the day with the purpose that the practical veterinarians understand that power of nutrition can help them in everyday practice. And with this, we are facilitating the exchange of knowledge. We are doing that through the different means, like now today, being in the same meeting room or talking to people through the digital channels. To have um, the websites where PurinaInstitute.com website where you have a lot of information you can use in your daily practice. Would it be in the practice with the clients? Would it be in the practice and teaching uh, your students? And what we want, we want to facilitate the nutrition conversation. It's already yesterday, a few times during our evening discussions came up. If you don't talk, if you don't start to talk nutrition, this topic will never come up in, uh, in your conversation with your clients. And very often, you should be the one who will facilitate this discussion and bring in mind of your uh, clients the thoughts about importance of nutrition throughout the life of pet. As the Purina Institute, I said we're representing the Purina Research. It's a fantastic and huge organization that has over 500 experts around the globe representing in the different continents of the world. We have eight research and development facilities that again uh, are placed in the different parts of the world that makes us strong because not only we are geographically represented in the different parts of the world, but we also understand 
what is going, what are the trending signs in, in, in different countries and in different expertise in pet professionals. If we put together our expertise, we, ha we have more than 100 years of research experience, and this is a fantastic. We can be proud with that. And that's what Purina Institute is bringing to the medical world, to the veterinary medical world, to share with you. We have a lot of publications, 500 plus papers that have been published and a lot more to come. And you see more than almost close to 2,000 grants that are, or patents that are uh, filed and then pending or already accepted. Um, and today we are talking about a very, very specific event. And this is a Companion Animal Nutrition Summit from the Purina Institute. You know, when I, came, when I came to the Purina Institute, uh, I came in a time of pandemic. So it's my first CAN Summit in, well, the first CAN Summit, not in person, the very much first one. And I started to talk to people who were doing that for years to understand what is the history for that. And you know, if we count all this type of scientific activities, even if they were not named CAN Summit, this is the number 24. So, Almost 25 years, Purina was investing in such a high level of, of academic activities to bring the top experts together and discuss and debate and share what we know or what we should know about pet nutrition and what can help us to be more successful for the benefit of our pets. You all received program for today, and I'm not going through details because we have a fantastic moderators to go uh, and, and explain you what you're going to learn during these days. But you see that each session we are talking about the power of nutrition in a different aspect of pet's life, in a different aspect of a healthy life, or if it's necessary to do a disease management. And our program is split by morning and afternoon sessions, and I hope you will have enough courage and you're not suffering too much from the jet lag to be present during during the entire program. And I'm very uh, glad and proud to introduce you our moderators uh, for, for this event. And uh, the first one who will, who will come on the stage after me, it's Alexandre Daniel, who is feline practice specialist. And um, forgive me if I, if I say something wrong, just, just a second, Alexandre, I, I will introduce all four people and then I will give stage to you. So the, Dr. Alexandre, he got his uh, medical degree in small animal medicine and surgery from Sao Paulo University in Brazil. He's diplomat of the American Board of Veterinary Practitioners. He serves as a cat-friendly practice committee at AFP. He is consultant at Veterinary Information Network and owner of feline-only practice in Brazil. Let's welcome, and I introduce then the second, the second person. The second moderator of the afternoon session is Mark Chandler. I'm not sure that I need to introduce Mark because everybody knows Mark, but I still take a couple of minutes to say a key achievement in her life. So she's a Master of Science in Animal Nutrition and Doctor of Medicine from Colorado State University. She did residency also in Colorado State University, but also in New Zealand, which is absolutely amazing. Diplomat with um, ACV and, and ACVIM, independent consultant in small animal nutrition and internal medicine, clinical nutritionist and West Now referrals in Glasgow, internal medicine specialist in Newcastle, and co-chair of the World's Animal, animal uh, Veterinary Association Global Nutrition Committee. And uh, the day two, we have another two moderators. The morning session will be with Jennifer Larson, who is PhD in Nutritional Biology and Doctor of Veterinary Medicine from UC Davis. She provides clinical nutritional counseling through the nutrition support services in, in the UC Davis. And she's mentoring residents, which is very, very important, and student and teaches veterinary cur curriculum, as well as the for graduate group in nutritional biology. And the last, not the least, Andy Sparks. I don't see Andy, and I hope he's around. So Andy Sparks has uh, uh, got his uh, uh, doctor's degree from Royal Veterinary College in London, residency in Philae Medicine and PhD in lecture in Philae Medicine at the University of Bristol, Animal Health Trust, which he was for some years serving, veterinary director in International Cat Care and uh, International Society of Feline Medicine, and founding and current co-editor of Journal of Feline Medicine and Surgery. 
Let's welcome all moderators and I give a stage to Alexandre.